Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about shipping. Shipping can get expensive. If you're in a small business and you've uh, been doing a lot of online sales, you'll realize that shipping can really eat into your profits. So today I'm going to give you five tips and you know what, hang around. If you go to the very end of this video, um, and I'm not saying jump to the end, but uh, hang around with us and I'll give you a couple of uh, bonus suggestions at the end. But we're going to focus today on five tips to help you save money and increase your profits when it comes to shipping. Let's get into it. Okay, now real quick, before we get into the five tips on shipping, if you've had success or if you've learned a thing or two during your time in online shipping, go ahead and uh, jump down below and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you've learned over the course of your time in business. Now that we've got that covered, let's get into these tips. Okay, tip number one, don't pay full price. If you're walking into the post office with your package and you're walking up to the counter with no label whatsoever and you're giving it to them and you let them weigh it and then uh, print out the label and pay you know, the counter price, you are spending too much. Uh, my number one recommendation is don't pay full price. But the number one thing that you should do is get a shipping service. Now, there are a bunch of them out there. I have personally used Shipping Easy. That's what I started with. I have used Pirate Ship. And now, honestly, since the bulk of my um, online business is through Etsy, I just use Etsy's uh, service. Now, for example, if I take a 9 inch by 6 inch by 2 inch uh, bubble mailer uh, that weighs 8 ounce, and I just picked a place in North Dakota. It's a little uh, town called Wing, North Dakota with a zip code of 58494. If I ship that via USPS, it's going to cost me $6. If I go to Shipping Easy, it will cost me $4.47. If I use Pirate Ship, it will cost $4.47. Now, I can't manually input an address into Etsy uh, unless I have an order, So, but just trust me. I've checked them all out. I think they all pretty much use the same commercial uh, rate, and in fact, some a lot of my labels will say Pitney Bowes, and if you remember back in the day, that was a huge, and maybe they're still around. Um, they did the, the little scales and, and mailing systems, um, but I think they're all using about the same commercial rate, so you're probably not, you know, one versus another. I think you're going to pay about the same price. But uh, again, number one, get yourself a shipping service. If you want more, uh, you know, breakdown on that kind of stuff, leave comments below and I can maybe do a little comparison on the different uh, shipping services. But in my experience, they're all about the same. All right. The number two tip that I have for you today has to do with these guys right here, the flat rate box. Now, most of us know this, these you can get for free from the post office. There's a reason that they're free. Now, this flat rate box, it may be more expensive for you to use this in the long run. Yeah, you're not paying for the box, but you are paying an awful lot for shipping. Um, if I go to the post office with this box and I have not used a shipping service and I just walk up to the counter, it's going to cost me $10.20 uh, to get a label and ship this via the U.S. Postal Service. Now, if I go to Pirate Ship and I get a label for it, it's going to cost me $8.51. So I'm already saving almost $2, which is more profit for me, if I use my shipping service to um, use use these. However, unless what you are putting in here is really heavy, um, you know, up to uh, probably about a pound, 16 ounces, after that this might be a more economical value. But if you're shipping anything less than that, you are probably paying way too much in postage for the use of this flat rate box. So there's a time and place for these. We'll talk about them a little later, but uh, most often take a look at, uh, you know, other ways to ship.
The third tip that I have for you today is to pay attention to auto-calculated values. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you're like me and you have multiple products on a site like Etsy, when somebody places an order for multiple item, Etsy will tend to combine the values that you have entered for your products. For example, when I ship this product, I know that it weighs about three ounces and I ship it in a nine by six uh, bubble mailer like this with a sheet of bubble wrap. Now, like I said, weighs about three ounces. When I ship this product, it's about the same. Now, if you order both of these, I can fit them both in the same bubble mailer, but Etsy is going to say, well, they were both this, you know, dimension and weight, and it's going to come up with some 15 by 9 by something, you know, much bigger size, and it's going to double the weight and everything. They're trying to do me a favor, but since I can put all of this in one package, and it only really increases the weight by like maybe an ounce, because a lot of the weight is just the packaging and bubble wrap, etc., I know that I can ship this in the same nine by six by now maybe it's a one inch uh, dimension you know increase uh, but it's only four ounces so I can enter that and instead of paying five dollars for shipping now I'm back down into the four dollar range right so again by paying attention to that you can save yourself some money and increase your profits tip number four four Four, yes, tip number four, buy in bulk. Now, again, when I first started out, I was going to Walmart, I was buying much smaller rolls of this bubble wrap. I was charging appropriately. Um, you know, I was buying 10 packs of bubble mailers. Don't do that. You make the investment. It's gonna cost you a little bit. For example, these poly mailers from Amazon, it's $49.99 for $250. That makes these things only 20 cents a piece, and now it's very easy for me to calculate the cost. So 250 of those, 50 bucks, no problem. Um, the bubble wrap, this massive box here, uh, $33.99 for 700 feet. So I get two rolls of this, takes me quite a while. I think this is the second one in a, in a year. I went through one box, and I've started on uh, my second box. Um, I think this is the second roll of the second box. So, you know, depending on how much you, uh, you ship, um, definitely it's going to save you money. These are perforated into 12-inch uh, squares, and it's 12 inches wide. So each one of these sheets costs me five cents. So, again, buy in bulk. And now for the fifth tip. The fifth tip, get a scale. Don't rely on the post office. Now, the post office scale is the scale that rules, but it's important for you to have a pretty good idea of how much to pay when you're buying your shipping labels. If you're just guessing, then you have you run the risk of overpaying. Now, I went on Amazon, I did a bunch of reviews, this is the one that I picked, this Waymax. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, uh, most of these things, they're affiliate links, so I do get a little bit of money back from Amazon, so hopefully if you enjoy the content that I'm providing, then you don't mind. It doesn't cost you any more, but I do get a little bit of something for that. But this is the scale that I chose, and it's typically, I would say, within a tenth of an ounce, so 0.1, you know, it'll say 2.1, the... Uh, Postal scale will say 2.2, but typically it's the whole numbers. So, you know, there's certain levels. So as long as I'm under four ounces, I tend to, to weigh up. If, the, if I put something on here, it says 2.1 ounces, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round it up to three uh, just to give me a little buffer. In one year of doing this, I've only had two packages that came back with a uh, basically a cost or a weight adjustment. So it's uh, pretty minimal, but definitely uh, get the scale. So like I said, um, you want to know how much to buy because when you enter those weights in whatever shipping service you use, uh, you'll see the uh, weight can change um, if you get into different categories. So having a scale, and this thing was only, yesterday when I checked, it was only $22.88 on Amazon. So um, very, very inexpensive and it will save you money. And remember, when you save money, 
you are increasing your profits. All right, now before we get into the final little bonus section, um, if you like what I'm doing here, as always, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, hit the little bell, that way you'll get a notification when we upload new content. Now you can see we're branching out. Um, I'm trying to uh, you know, reach as many viewers as I can with still keeping in the niche of uh, directed technology, so 3D printers, lasers, CNC, you know, that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, I'm in this to make uh, my little business successful. So things like shipping, those are all important uh, as well. So with that said, let's get into the little bonus section. All right, thanks for sticking around. I've got a couple little last things um, to think about as you try to uh, you know, lower, uh, keep your shipping costs low and increase your profits, because that's always good. So three things, number one, um, consider free shipping. There have been a lot of studies, you know, places like Etsy, um, just consumer, you know, places that do a lot of this and um, invest a lot of money into figuring out what makes uh, people's minds work and how to, to best, um, you know, provide the things that uh, will make people want to, you know, finalize and, and hit that purchase button. Um, so these studies show that customers will typically value free shipping over an equivalent discount. So, you know, if I know that it's going to cost, now bad example, but well, hey, if I know it's going to cost me $8 to ship something in a flat rate box and I offer a 10, 20% discount that is $8, well, they don't tend to value that as much as me just saying free shipping and including that into the price, you know? So even if you're increasing your price by that $8 to cover this, when a customer comes to your website or your Etsy shop or whatever, and let's say you've got a product that's $50, well, it's $50 is what they have in their mind. Now we all understand tax and, you know, depending on the state that you live in, um, we're accustomed to maybe a couple dollars here or there, you know, that we're going to pay in sales tax. But if I think, well, this product is $50 and I go to checkout and I see it's going to cost me another $10 or $8 or whatever in shipping, well, now I'm at $60 and I've got that like, ah, oh, well, it was worth it, you know, a minute ago to pay $50. But now that it's $60, i am not quite sure. So when you offer free shipping and that's included into your, your price, well, now that $50 product is still $50 and yeah, I got to pay $3 for tax or whatever, but I don't have that huge jump. So consider offering free shipping. Um, the second thing is nothing is free. So whether you're paying shipping, all, all this you know, packaging, the 20 cents that you pay for this, the five cents you pay for bubble wrap, whatever you're putting in that package, remember, that's either something that the customer has to pay for or it's coming out of your profit. So make sure that you're well aware of how much you are paying per product to get things to your customers and include that in your final price. Now, the last thing, um, not really a tip, but just kind of a, I guess, a pet peeve. Um, don't get these for free and then ship them in some other way, you know, trying to trick the system. Some people will put these in bubble mailers or they'll put them in, you know, a brown paper wrap. Um, like I said, nothing is free. These cost the Postal Service money. They are giving them to you free because they know that they're going to charge you 8 to $10 to ship whatever is in here. Um, when you take these for nothing and then use them and don't pay the USPS, uh, you know, to ship them at the amount that they calculated to give you this for free, what happens? The postal rates go up. So now, not only do you pay more to ship this, but you pay more for everything. Uh, the postal service doesn't tend to make a profit. It's not why they're there, but when they lose money on something like this, they have to make up for it and then they just raise your rates. So little things, um, but again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. Um, I'm just trying to make life better out there for everybody. So once again, thanks for uh, coming to the channel. Hope you learned something today. And as always, let's just keep on learning together.